up, mix nutters. It's your boy Marcus, and I'm back and black and happy 2023. We done made it to the new year, man. And today we are gonna be covering one of the most anticipated movies of 2023, the horror movie slash epic Megan. Coming up next. Now, before we proceed, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time we drop a new video, which is going to be either Monday or Friday, of course. And uh, you know what? Hit us with that super like, all right? We greatly appreciate it. Hit us with that super like. And check out the Mix Nuts friends, all right? These boys are super talented, available on all platforms. Check them out. And you can check us out on uh, Instagram. And, and, you know, on Instagram, of course. That is Mix Nuts 3000. Again, Mix Nuts 3000. Run it. So we made it back, all right? And look, uh, the holidays, I hope everybody had a good holiday or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Living your dream, come up with some some uh, some new some some new year's resolutions or whatever. But look, let's check out, let, let, let's just talk about Megan, all right? This movie, the trailer came out in 2022, right? But it's coming out this Saturday. I mean, I'm sorry, Friday, January 6th. It's gonna be awesome, all right? All right, now if you ain't seen the trailer, check it out. I'm about to show it up here coming up. But let's just read the synopsis of this though. So in this movie, Megan, right? Megan, spelled with the E, is spelled with a three. Is a marvel of artificial intelligence. A lifelike doll that's programmed to be a child's greatest companion and a parent's greatest ally. Designed by Gemma, a brilliant roboticist, Megan can listen, watch, and learn as it plays the role of a friend and teacher, playmate and protector. When Gemma becomes an unexpected caretaker of her eight-year-old niece, she decides to give the girl uh, a Megan prototype and a decision that leads to unimaginable consequences. Now, of course, this is like a, the perfect kind of movie to talk about AI would, all right? Because AI kind of freaks me out. I think it freaks everybody out on a certain level. I mean, and I ain't talking about AI that can like, you know, predictive text or something, but like true AI, like an autonomous body that can walk around, pretty creepy, bro. Cause just because like, there's no morals behind that. There's no soul. It's just programming. So that that's already freaking me out. But let's go ahead and check out this trailer. You lost your parents. Welcome home. You're my niece. I'm going to do everything I can to make this place feel like home. Just All right. So I already got a bias about this because that's that chick Allison from uh, Get Out, bro. So she... I don't know, like, she pretty, but she got, like, this really good way of playing, like, crazy, creepy chicks. But I don't know. Let's check it out. Wish I could see them again. I'm not equipped to handle this. I don't even take care of my own plants. I have this project at work. Do you want to see? Yes. Ever since I was little, I dreamed of this. You taking care of your dead sibling's kid, and the first thing you do is make him a guinea pig for some Terminator android. Perfect toy that would protect a kid from ever feeling lonely or sad. This is Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Now, I know this kid's lonely in a new place and everything, but that toy creepy as shit. I mean, even the original Chucky was creepy as hell, but wasn't quite as creepy as her. Again, your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. 
Why is she wearing sunglasses? I, I, uh, you know. Okay. Is that a doll? Model 3 generative. Android. Megan, for short. I can't believe you made this. I love it. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sounds like fun. You see. Mm-mm. Oh, this playing together with some weird ass doll. You can just tell the way they patent it right now. This movie's about to get horrific. Great job. It's nice to have a friend. It's honestly like she's part of the family now. They could be building emotional connections that are too hard to untangle. She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. Eat the toppings, Katie. Research shows if you force a child to eat vegetables, they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adults. That dial would have immediately been slapped in my house. I mean, even if it was a dial, it ain't got to be real. Just the, the, the level of talking back coming from a dial is like 0%. Is that so? Yes. Experts say and turn off. I thought we were having a conversation. You see how quickly she bowed up on her? I don't even like the monotone creepiness of that response. Does she talk? Make? Or say something. Stop! Don't! Make it! You should probably run. <laughs> Damn, that little boy wasn't running fast enough, bro. If I'm talking to, if a dial started talking and then get on fours like that, bro, I mean, how you gonna trip and fall, bro? I would have been like literally jumping, doing backflips to get away from her. Onto the road. I won't let anything harm you. Megan, turn off. Recalibrating response model. <laughs> Megan! Not only is Megan shitty, but she likes to do a little dance. Oh, I can't wait to see this, bro. If, if only to see why she started dancing in that moment. <laughs> don't worry, Katie. Yeah, I mean, what? Uh, who added a dancer in there? I won't let anything harm you. Ever again. So immediately, no. Immediately, no. All right, first off, you see how Megan looks, bro? Super disturbing, all right? She she looks like a 33-year-old a, a and a little girl at the same time. I don't like the way they did her eyes, um, the way she's talking with no expression on her face. I'm like, y'all built a robot with no expressions, bro? I mean, they made this as creepy as possible. This little girl, Megan, or whatever this thing is, is stupid creepy. And then the kid just lost a parents. Why would you be like, hey, let me get throw her as a guinea pig? And have her just hang out with this creepy doll instead of you trying to, you know, talk to her yourself or maybe get her some kind of some kind of counseling or something for for loss. Instead, you give her this killer doll. You know what I mean? And that girl's kind of old enough to know that, like, hey, shit's not going good. This doll is crazy. You know what I mean? The kid ain't like seven. This kid's old enough, dude. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm an eight year old, but she ain't really eight. All right. And then even eight, like, when I was eight, kids used to tell on people all the time, bro. So there's no way. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm so tempted to see what this movie's gonna be about, man. I can't wait to check it out, though. Because it looks good. And when she started dancing, bro, I just want to know what that scene was about. Because a dancing killer is always kind of entertaining to watch. But I've been waiting for this movie, Megan, because they haven't really dropped a lot of footage. So they did a good job keeping you, like, knowing the basics, but not, like, the true story. But this, I don't think this is gonna be, like, uh... Chucky or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I think this is going to dive a little deeper into the, the 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 AI situation. You know, like the newer Chucky had the AI situation, but that really didn't work because the voodoo thing from the original Chucky worked way better and was just enter more entertaining. This, though, is definitely something that is on its own level and could be wildly entertaining and make you really think about that AI situation because that's freaking me out too, bro. I mean, look, look at, look at 2020, bro. Everybody was like secluded and quarantined or whatever. And look how crazy people got just off of that. Not even after two years of it. I'm talking about like the first six months, people were nuts, bro. Like bad shit crazy. So I can't wait to see this movie. And I know a lot, but it ain't may not be everybody's cup of tea, but you should definitely at least rent it, bro. This is definitely a rental, bro. And you know, it's gonna be some funny moments in it, some creepy moments. 
And uh, pretty much, if you want to creep people out, make a ghost little girl or AI little girl and mission accomplished. Because little girls are terrifying when they're not little girls. I don't know why. All right, me studies, that is it for me today. I'm about to make like a baby and head out. If you want to support the channel, go to buymeacoffee.com slash mixnuts. We got new videos coming every Monday or Friday. Of course, you can check us out on uh, mixnuts3000, our Instagram page. And until next time, 